Hi everyone, how you are? This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Bitcoin once again. Thank you for support, okay? Big little Coins Kid crew. So yesterday there was someone that wrote on the uh, comments, "What do you mean by bubble popping?" You know, and this is this is the best I can find, the best data I can find for you to show that okay, if the bubble does pop, then this is an indication of it. Because at the minute you got this peak, this peak, we sort of hit this peak twice here, this logarithmic. Uh, resistance band and then this logarithmic support band and you can see each cycle when we've come down we bounced off this support okay we with that correction now bounced off it but you can see what it's doing it is getting tighter as we go up okay do you see this it's getting tighter so what bitcoin does need to do because you can see on a logarithmic scale right here this is key resistance right now okay and this is where you got rejected on the way up you know so for example you know an indication of this bubble popping and this support and resistance no longer being fruitful and you know the likes of the rainbow chart stock to flow and things like that sort of being invalidated like i've said to you many times is if you do start to close and lose these key levels of support which you've always held then this could be a precursor to the fact that okay you're no longer holding this support on the way up and you're going to start to fall for it and like i said to you, if you do start to do that you're losing structure okay and you would start to come down and you hit your head and do something like that that's why you lose structure but historical data has shown us right now that this is a fantastic entry point okay always has been and potentially going forward always will be but what we do definitely need to see for bitcoin going forward is we do need to see the break of this resistance because you can see it's tightening okay at the moment it's tightening like this okay and this is where bitcoin got rejected and right now we came back and we're, we're sort of being tested into support if we do start to close below these levels of support this is a monthly time frame it could give the precursor and the indication that okay we're going to start to do something like this and we're no longer so holding support uh, you know major level support moving forward and we're actually going to turn those key levels of support into resistance and this could be a precursor to a fact that we're going to begin a, a huge retracement here for bitcoin because we've been coming up so exponentially like this that at some point you will slow down and you will come in for a, a retracement is this the precursor to it that's what i'm trying to say you know just because bitcoin has got there from this low and then got there from this low it doesn't mean you're always going to do something like that it will slow down eventually could this time be it who knows no one's got a crystal ball but we can all say it's going to go up and we can all say it's going to go down but it's only the charts that tell us what it's going to do obviously the price action determines that so the precursors to coming up is if you're above the 20 ma the precursors to coming down is if you're closing consistently below the 20 and the 55 okay and you can see in the entire history here for bitcoin like i said to you you've always found support on the red line which is pretty much where the, the support of this bottom band of the logarithmic chart is okay you can see you've always found support on the red line so right now if bitcoin does not hold this support and starts to come down it could be a precursor to the fact okay the bubble's popped basically and we've had a fun bitcoin's come up and now it's beginning a deeper retracement than we anticipate and at that point anyone can say bitcoin's going to go to 100 dollars 200 dollars 50 dollars 5 dollars or whatever and there'll be sort of nothing there saying it won't do you understand so this is where you, you potentially you've got a kind of big double top here as well which is always quite a negative pattern you know i'm telling you how it is not feeling you know spiel it's technical analysis but the precursor to that coming down and losing this support is if you start to lose this key level support and start close below the, the tw uh, 55 ema on the monthly time frame you can see it i was said to you so many times if you just start to do that you're losing structure you're losing support and with that it, you know you're going to go anywhere so the next level of support for me is this swing high just there do you see that that would be an enormous level of support could you come down wick come back into this and start to come back up that would be amazing this month absolutely can happen obviously but if we do start to again come down start to lose this eye even closing below that previous eye would be quite negative and, and it could be, again be a precursor to the fact the bubble was popping you coming down so for example let's say the bubble has popped you know we're not going to get a continuation the fear is right that we're going to get this continuation we are in this big massive bear market right now and we're coming down and we're going to lose all these lows and break this key level support which we've held for so many times and this 55 as well you know we're just going to keep coming down and bitcoin's a ponzi basically uh, which i don't personally think it is so right now if, if bitcoin does come down then let's have a look at some retracement levels from this high all the way back down to this low uh let's have a look at the retracement levels right now so you can say okay well bitcoin's found support on the 382 at the minute 21205 amazing you know come down to that get your wick for that start to come back up amazing as you shake out there's your opportunity because historical data shows us that this trend line here and the monthly 55 whenever you've come back to it is amazing basically you know and right now why why would this time be any different who knows the macro environment or whatever who knows it's all support and resistance so you know i'm i'm not a, a a a guy that just trades and buys on outside influence i'm a probabilities guy and at the minute the the the, the bias to me is towards the fact that we are dumping this week as anticipated okay 
If we hold this support this week, this was the entry point right on the money on these key levels of support okay but again there's zero guarantees and the precursor that you know catching the falling knife here is if you do start to come down any deeper you lose this eye you lose this eye if you start to retrace any deeper here and you don't necessarily come back up okay like this and you start turning this into resistance then you've got your big warning signal here that the bubbles popped okay and with that you are beginning a, a really 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 deep retracement okay potentially you know coming down and you're not no longer retracing to this low you're actually creating something called a reversal wave on the macro time frame here you know one of the biggest time frames a monthly you're creating a reversal wave and with that you're going to start to be in these minimal targets and, it, and you could say okay well yeah the bubble has popped okay and we've got a double top and we're rolling but for me to tell you that you 100 do that like a lot of people do and scaremongering okay and, and, and perma bears without you actually losing key levels of support to give you that target which is the one fib you know it's a bit of opium but but we can get precursors to that if you start to come down and you start to lose the key levels of structure support in the in the charts here which is a 55 ema close below that could be a precursor like i said to you that currently sits at 24554 so if you start to see bitcoin close below that level in 15 days and you know over the next few months here keeps closing below that level wow you know bitcoin could be looking a bit flaky and it could start to be in a bit of trouble we did do it down here okay on this support as well so that could go in our favor over the next few months if we do build a base down here you know but if we do start to consistently lose this and lose this green line you know we start closing down here at 14k i would say that that's extremely negative because at that point you're getting really really far from the emas and you're going to start to drag them over your shoulder and create this death cross on a monthly time frame which you know is just a massive t tick and a precursor you're in a bear market on the monthly time frame right there when you create that death cross okay so yeah i mean anything can happen okay and this is why you always look at charts so you've got key levels of resistance key levels of support you know if you start to come down the cascade through short then you're gonna have targets to the downside but if you start to break resistance you're gonna have targets to the upside so moving forward you can see that this is a massive massive level of resistance this trend line and this is potentially why we got rejected there came back to the amaze had another go got rejected again and where we found support on the bottom and everyone's getting really really fearful here so my bias is you know not permanent or anything like that at the minute we found support down here three times in the history for bitcoin okay and obviously an exception down there but if we can hold this this is an opportunity like i said to you opportunity never feels like opportunity if we can hold this support and we don't do all this sort of business okay and we start to hold this support and start to come back up our next level of resistance going forward looking at this chart is this line again and if we break that imagine the power because you're breaking out of multi-year resistance here for bitcoin and this could actually be a brand new cycle some kind of new paradigm for bitcoin where it goes up a level and then starts to do that do you understand so anything's possible it's all about support and resistance and again you know you break the support you're going to stop do that it's the opposite of coming up breaking that and doing that isn't it you know so good luck everyone i know everyone feels at the minute that bitcoin is going to do something like that but there's zero guarantees to it doing that okay and uh, like i've always said to you by fear by blood by depression when the blood's in the streets and right now you know i did say to you this week this specific week no other week not last week not the week after i said to you this specific week is the low for bitcoin because historical data shows us that so if over the next few weeks you do start to see some reversal here and on your old coins as well then you're looking at least retesting this level of resistance moving forward aren't you okay so that's basically bitcoin i hope you understand that update and this is why i would say to you if in doubt zoom out and this is why i always do zoom out and look at the macro view okay obviously we can look at the hourly time frames and just get a gist of where we're sort of going let's zoom in quickly uh, you can see that what you've done here this is a retracement to this side let me show you what we're looking at i do need to zoom in more with you so from this low here that you put in in june the 13th okay you retrace to this side see this side where you came from you lost this side and you roll this is some kind of big big monster wave free look at that big waterfall that's a very powerful wave so you can see where you ran into resistance you retrace to the 236 you got the resistance and right now you're coming down again so in my opinion like i said to you i think that this week's the low and i think that this is your fifth wave down and this is the low coming to fruition right now so let's look at the fib targets for bitcoin okay and this is going to be a generational opportunity now if i can absolutely nail the bottom for you here okay and we nail the bottom together and we ride it up you know wow i wish everybody looked most luck and you know i want it to go up for everybody obviously including myself because i'm buying it so anyway uh, let me show you what levels i'm looking at one two seven two two zero two one three we've got the one four one four one nine eight uh 
1.97 and the 1618 here at 19453 if it gets nasty i would expect capitulation there on the two fib because the two fibs are very powerful impulsive push down and that is at 18648 and that could be it you know that's your way five down and from there you start to come back up and it might be some kind of powerful v-shaped recovery so could it be in relation to some news coming out today perhaps i don't know but oh you understand the update and again there's no guarantees okay if bitcoin keeps coming down then obviously we're not we're not putting in a low this week and it's getting drastic and nasty and i've shown you where potentially it could be an indication of the bubble popping take care everyone back to another update on bitcoin stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye Hey everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Welcome to the Coins Kid crew, okay? So right now, there's a big, big competition on Bybit. Um, I would like you to get involved if you can. You know, co come and join the crew. Come and join the Coins Kid crew, okay? It's a it's a team on Bybit, and there's a massive trading competition. The, the total prize pool is $8 million here, okay? And, you know, the top 10 of the crews get to, to take a share of that pot. It's going to be really interesting, and we're recruiting some really good traders into the crew. So it's great if we can all get involved in this, right, and win it as a community. That would be absolutely amazing so this is going to be the intro for the next few days on the video because i just want to try and get you into the crew so we can build a, an amazing team here okay for this particular competition because it would be so cool if we win it as a community here the link to this competition and to get involved is in each and every single video description 